In this tutorial, I'll show you how to edit videos by editing text in Adobe Premiere Pro 2023, that is the version 23.4. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this update is massive and the reason for this is because text-based editing has been introduced and it's the May 2023 update. And I'm just going to look at a quick write-up here, but I'll leave all links in the description if you'd like to read some more and maybe see some few things that I'll not cover in this particular tutorial. So text-based editing, uh, it's in Premiere Pro, a new way of editing that is as simple as copying and pasting text. That is how you edit videos. And these already are available in applications like Descript and also recently in DaVinci Resolve. Now, you can also search source transcripts to find content and add clips to the timeline. Next up, you can edit the sequence transcripts to shape the rough cuts. This is going to save you a ton of time, uh, especially uh, when you want to edit videos uh, because that's how text-based editing works super, super fast. Now, a couple of uh, other things you can read about this, text-based editing in Premiere Pro, and then the overview and everything that I'll hopefully mention in this video, you can always find it here. And then we have some FAQs of the frequently asked questions. Uh, you can see that and then uh, does it co does transcription cost uh, any extra amount of money? No, it doesn't cost EDC, all the questions that you have. And if you have some additional questions, I believe you can always let them know of how uh, you're faring on with this particular option. But let's get to the meat of things. Now, let's begin by creating a new project. And I'll create a new project and call it text-based editing tutorial. Now, once I do that, what is of importance here to me is if the automatic transcription is turned on. By default, it is off. You can turn it on right here or using the preferences section. And I do have a tutorial about that that you can check out if you'd like to also set it via preferences. Now, automatic transcription is on. The language of the video I'm going to be automatically transcribing is it going to be in English. So that is uh, set. You can also enable language auto detection. And if the video uh, is not really clear, then Adobe Sensei or the AI powering the transcription is going to sense or detect that particular language. Next up, if you have multiple speakers, you can enable speaker labeling, but I don't have uh, separate speakers. But the other option is yes, separate speakers. And this is going to come in handy, especially in clips that have multiple speakers. It's going to save you a ton of time. And then we have the transcription preferences. What do you prefer? Auto transcribe only clips in sequence or auto transcribe all imported clips. My preference is auto transcribe all imported clips. I'll click on this. And because I'm not choosing any file here, I'll just click on create. Once I click on create, I'm going to get into this particular workspace that is the captions and graphics workspace. Uh, next up, I'll just go pick my video, drop it here. Uh, looks good, there's nothing much to do here. Next up, I can actually just uh, create a sequence, control N or something, uh, just create a sequence and I'll not change anything here, I'll just leave it as it is, click OK. That looks good. But now, what is of importance to us is the text-based editing uh, kind of interface or workspace. I'll go to Window, Workspace, uh, and then we go to text-based editing, and everything is going to change. Now, with this in mind, I'll just double-click on this clip here in the project. It's going to come to the source window right about here. So it's available here for us to work with. And then what is going to happen is that it's going to be automatically transcribed in the background. So I can actually click on this and you'll see that this is the uh, the source monitor transcript uh, and it's already transcribed. And there are a bunch of things here. Uh, you can search for any word that you want to search for. Do a couple of things inside the source monitor. But for this, I'll just click here and it just jumps to where we want it to be and we can play it. In this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos, TikToks, Reels, super fast using the script. We are going to be adding emojis, capitalizing certain words that you'd like to do, that you'd like to capitalize, the Alex Amozi style, and everything that you'd like to see. Stick around to the end, I'll show you how to make this super, super fast. 
Thanks for watching and let's begin. So there are two options. There is uh, the show source monitor transcript, this one for this particular clip because we've said that Premiere Pro should automatically transcribe all imported clips. And then we have the show program monitor that is for the sequence. Now, a uh, couple of things here I'd like to go over. These three ellipses here, if I click on them, there are a couple of actions. You can create captions, retranscribe clip, export the transcript, either to text file, CSV. You can also import a corrected transcript, which is highly welcome, especially if you script your videos. This is going to save you a ton of time uh, to avoid using uh, or maybe having to correct a ton of mistakes. Next up, we've got some preferences, show speakers, show and transcribe sources, enable auto scrolling. We also have the pauses and this is going to come in handy, especially when uh, you want to make cuts uh, in some sections. You can also set the pause length, very handy. We also have the option for spell check. You can check spelling. You can also uh, set the spell check settings. So I'll not do anything else here, but I'll just select my clip right here. And to insert this clip, you can right click, insert, overwrite etc. And the insert shortcut is a comma and then the overwrite uh, shortcut is a period. One thing I'd like you to notice is that when I make a selection, let's actually undo that. When I make a selection, look at the source monitor. It sets in and out points. So from here, you can actually now drag this to your timeline or sequence right there. Now the clip doesn't match. Okay. Keep existing settings, that's okay. And once you do that, now click on the sequence or this uh, particular one. And what you'll see is that you'll see now the transcript as it is in the source, but now this one uh, has now the a couple of seconds showing and so on and so forth. Now let's play this. In this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos, TikToks, Reels, super fast using the script. Now, there are a couple of mistakes here, so I can actually edit this. In this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos. Let's make this a comma, TikToks, comma, Reels, super fast using Descript. And uh, Descript is one of the few applications that came up with uh, text-based editing of videos and podcasts. Uh, and it's good to see Adobe Premiere Pro jump on this bandwagon. We've also seen it in DaVinci Resolve 18.5. I believe Beta 1 and Beta 2 have it. Uh, so that is good. We've corrected the first section there. Uh, we're going to be adding emojis. Let's continue. Add captions to your social media videos, TikTok. Let's begin from there. We're going to be adding emojis, capitalizing certain words that you like to do, that you like to cut. So it's uh, capitalizing certain words remove this that you'd like to capitalize uh, let's continue let's play this capitalizing certain words that you like to do that you'd like to capitalize so for example it's added some seconds here uh, because I've removed some content. So what I can do is just right click on these three dots here and delete. And I've actually edited that particular section and we can play this. Emojis, capitalizing certain words that you'd like to capitalize the Alex emoji. So we can make some edit here. Let's say we, we remove the like backspace, remove these seconds. Uh, let's play it again. The Alex Amosi style and everything that you'd like to see. So, Stick around to uh, the end. I'll show you how to make this super, super fast. This is Thanks for watching and let's begin. This In this video, I'll show uh, you how to add captions that. to your social media. It should be Alex Harmozy. Alex Harmozy style. Uh, it's a style of captioning that you kind of see around. So I believe everything else is good. Uh, can actually click out here and play Alex Amosi style and everything that you'd like to see stick around to the end I'll show you how to make this super super fast thanks for watching and let's begin 
So what in I this can video, do, I'll show you uh, this uh, seconds here that look good. Yeah, 0 0.1. So if we can actually play this video now, it's already edited. And if you look actually at um, our sequence here, let's actually move this one slightly to the side. So now we have some more real estate here. You can see that the edits are being done right here. If we actually play this particular video. In this video, I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos, TikToks, Reels, super fast using the script. We're going to be adding emojis, capitalizing certain words that you'd like to capture, the Alex Amosi style and everything that you'd like to see. Stick around to the end. I'll show you how to make this super, super fast. Thanks for watching and let's begin. Now, we've quickly made a rough draft of our video and uh, there's a section here, I believe, at this particular section, I may need to kind of uh, dig in slightly because it seems something was cut off here and then we make uh, an extension so that the capitalized word is included. But this is how fast it's going to make video editing in Adobe Premiere Pro by editing text. Now, let's assume you're done with all this. Uh, what you can do here is you can now let's move this slightly click on CC once you click on CC it's going to create captions if I click on it it's going to give you a, uh, a couple of uh, options here create captions the caption preset you can click on this drop down to set the different options depending on where your file is going so I'm going to go with subtitle default because I'm assuming you're either going to be banning in the subtitles to the video and so on and so forth to the right, there are three dots, and this you can save the current settings as a preset, or you can also import a preset or delete the selected preset. Really depends on what you have. Also expand the caption preferences format. So we can do that. And then the format is the subtitle. We have the other Australian OP47, CEA608, CEA708, etc. Then if you have a style that you've set, uh, you can also use it. And then for maximum length in characters, I prefer to go with 37. And there we go. And then the minimum duration in seconds, uh, there is three. I can say probably one. One will work. Let's say it gives you 1.2. Let's go with 1.2. Uh, the maximum should not go past something like uh, seven seconds. Uh, gap between caption frames, I'll leave it at zero. And then lines, uh, you can either go with single or double. I'm going to go with double and then click on create captions. But if you like to save your settings, you can just come here and then save current settings as preset. And now you see that you can also export current settings as a preset. Now let's click on create captions. It's creating captions. It's already done. They are available here for us uh, to see. In this video, you can now see them on our video here. Uh, let's move them to the side slightly so they're available for us here so what I can actually do is now change the workspace to captions and graphics uh, so that we can make the different uh, changes that we might need to make right about here so once you do that like double click on this uh, you can make the different changes now let's actually click on the captions press on control a and then uh, let's move this slightly and this slightly move this so that we can see the size that we're getting for our captions and then if I actually go home in this video I'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos TikToks reels super fast using the script we are going to be adding emoji looks good to me you can fine-tune to whatever you want but I think 110 is just too big maybe bring it down slightly to about 83 looks good uh, you can also add things like a background to this let's say we add uh, uh, this one is let's go with a black that looks okay and then we've got a transparency uh, that looks good let's go with like 90 90 percent that looks good and then you can adjust all these options here uh, to make sure that it's a little bit bigger slightly you can also carve uh, your particular box uh, so it looks like this and if you actually now play this they look something like this in this video i'll show you how to add captions to your social media videos TikToks, reels super fast using the script so 
That is a text-based editing feature in Adobe Premiere Pro 2023. That is the version 23.4 as of May 2023. It is super awesome that we can now edit videos by editing text. It's going to save us a ton of time and make things so much easier. Go test it out and see if it works out for you. And until next time, take care and never stop learning. Thank you so much for watching.